During our first Secret Shopper mission, we challenged each of the PC system integrators to solve a simple routine problem. A single stick of RAM that had come loose during shipping, causing, well, half of the system memory to appear. This time, we are upping the ante, loosening every single stick of RAM causing the systems to not even turn on. Let's see if our system integrator's tech support is up to the challenge. Based on the fact that this video clip we're about to sit through is two hours long, I'm thinking some of them didn't do too well. You who does do well, you, when you buy dbrand. This drop is only gonna be live for another 24 hour suckas, so if you want either the sticker bomb or the Linus face, you're gonna have to buy it right now. They're merciless. They're gonna take it down in 24 hours. Go, hurry up. Or you, you, you can just get a regular one. No, these are the only cool oh, okay. ones. Now, funny thing, we had intended to do the same troubleshooting scenario as last time with just one stick of memory out. The problem is that some of our vendors, like Dell, only put one bloody stick of memory in the system, and that wouldn't be fair to them versus the ones that did install dual channel memory. Uh, when you start the computer, or, or do you at least see the Dell logo, ma'am? I mean, she did just tell him that the screen doesn't go on, so how would she see a Dell logo? I do see the Dell logo. Oh, no, yeah. Sarah, that's the wrong Dell logo. <laughs> oh, okay, that's not, oh no. <laughs> Um, sorry, I thought you meant the Dell monitor on the PC. I actually don't see the Dell monitor, or the Dell logo on the monitor. I mean, look, it's his job to help people like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unplug the uh, power cord from the back of the uh, computer tower. Okay, we're six and a half minutes in. We have an unplugged computer. Please press and hold the power button on the tower for one minute of time without the power cable. I'll let you know when to release it. She's still holding it. Oh my it. God, she's been holding it for two minutes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Close it in. So you can see on this Dell, it actually uses an LED indicator for the BIOS error code. Uh, will you please tap the caps lock again on the keyboard and see if the caps lock comes on and goes off? But I mean, he just had her reset it to diagnostic mode. Why didn't he just have her look at the indicator light? I don't know. Read me the exact message what it shows. <sighs> yeah. So he's sure. asking still what? on the monitors. Are 16 how, minutes in. How are we still on the monitor? I mean, at the uh, behind the monitor, there'll be two oh. different display ports, ma'am. One is display My in. God. I hope it is connected to the DP in. We are yes, still on the monitor. And he's saying there's display port out. Okay. There's no display, there's no port, display out. port out what monitor on has, any monitor. Yeah, which that one has aware. display port pass through? I can pretty much guarantee there is none. Behind the tower, uh, at the place where you have connected, please check if there's any other port, any other display port. Which is not a terrible troubleshooting step. Yes, but this computer <laughs> only has one. I oh. think this GPU only had one display port, yeah, one HDMI, like right. a DVI. No, there isn't. Will you please connect? Look up the f***ing order. I think he did. And because, he's still reading off the okay, same Well, rock. he's still trying to tell, getting us to do things we don't have yeah. and asking wh what her name is. Not to mention it's Dell, so he has a service tag that should be leading him to the exact model. Usually in case if you put, I mean, if the monitor tower has a graphics card, then it'll have a uh, different output, ma'am. This motherboard doesn't have onboard video ports. It doesn't have any other display ports either. There is one display port output. Um, it seems to be... Okay, so we're one. 19 minutes in, still working on the monitor. Can I just say for a moment that it is filling me with rage to see this error code flashing on the front of the tower <laughs> yeah, the entire going. time we're sitting here? Yeah. It starts in the groin and it works its way up you to keep vomit. Your, keep your groin to yourself. What is he even waiting for for so long? Like, oh my God. Uh. Oh, at the, I mean, uh, when I check my resources, I see there are a uh, few more display ports at the uh, oh, back. Oh, no, 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 no. So what was no, that? There he, sat there for a, he sat there for a minute trying to find out, and there's only one display port on this computer. The power cable is at the bottom, am I right? Yes. And right above it, what I see here is there is two display ports, one HDMI port, and again, there's a display port and a VGA. Just, just slap me. Just slap me. Can I actually? Just, here, here, I'll use the. She must be dying. Like, she must be just. Thanks. Ow. 
Like, what is up with Dell and just these long pauses? You remember that from last time, right? Yeah, yeah. Are any plastic keys on the keyboard missing? There is not. There's like, like messenger notifications. It's almost like he was talking to somebody who was like level two support in the background and then relaying that information to us. Okay. But just read the freaking code. Is it steadily lit? Yes, it is. Here we go. Oh, oh, lit. he finally got the 25 minutes in. It looks blue. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Here we go, Dell. She's looking at the wrong LED though. She's not wrong. It is blue. It is, there's a blue LED. I mean, if, if you have a chassis and there's a big LED and then just a little one. Yep. And you're asking about the little one, you should probably clarify. Yeah, that's not unfair. His picture of this system in his documentation though, probably isn't blue. lit up. Yeah. That's a tough one. On the power button, keeps blinking or uh, if it blinks in a pattern, there we go. Down. Blinking pattern. Tell the computer's off. Here we go. Here we go. It is blinking white and then it just stopped blinking white. And now it's blinking orange. Crazily. 25 minutes of that almost was after he had us go through the step to turn on the diagnostic LED. Uh, will you please let me know the count, ma'am? How many times orange and how many times it blinks white? Okay, it looks like it just blinked five times white. Five times white and two times orange. Yes. No. no. Oh, Sarah. Actually, try four, four blinks white and two blinks orange. We can't blame Del for that. You know, if she can't count, like... <laughs> what? <laughs> Yikes. Uh, will you please connect the monitor and the keyboard, ma'am? Yes. Why are we connecting a monitor and a keyboard when you have a postcode? You have a diagnostic postcode. I'm looking it up right now. I bet I can look this up before he does. Here we go. Here we go. Now, uh, the procedure is as soon as you turn on the computer, uh, press and hold the um, control and escape keys, ma'am. Control and escape keys? We already confirmed the keyboard's not Memory right. slash RAM failure. There, I'm done. Right there, Dell Chris M community manager has got me covered. It's like poor Sarah is like, okay, I got my power button here. I got my keyboard shortcuts there. I got, the monitor works. I mean, I, someone called me up and was like, yeah, my monitor works, but I can't count to four. <laughs> I, it's, it's okay, Sarah, you did, you did good. I see the problem is with the motherboard, ma'am. Maybe uh, since the problem's the motherboard. No, I don't even want to hear it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> According to him, that error code is a motherboard error code. Here we go. Uh, some XPS RAM. Something else RAM. Imagine this. You are a Dell engineer. Yeah. You worked hard to make this system <laughs> output error codes that are meaningful yeah. and helpful and make this guy's life easier. And he refuses to use it. It might be an internal policy. If it's a RAM error, they're like, they just default. Uh, we don't want to explain to them that it's memory. Do you think that there's something disconnected maybe inside that I would just be able to, to fix now? She's got this horse, okay? She's got the water right there. She's like, come on, horse. Get her down there. Drink. It's the system board itself, ma'am. So the connection on the board is the fault has gone wrong. So it has to be sent to the depot, ma'am. Bottom line, Dell took 35 minutes to not fix the problem, waste our time not having our system for a week, two weeks, we yeah. don't know, to return it to a depot. And this was all something that a level one tech support person should have been able to walk us through. Like you already verified right off the bat that this is a system issue. If it's not posting, it's not gonna do caps lock, it's not gonna do unlock. I do wonder if Alienware support would have done a better job, but then maybe Dell the should have sold support. us an Alienware. Yeah. So. Thank you for calling HP Premium Support. My name is How can I help you? This system with one memory popped out, it didn't just not turn on or didn't turn on and like not do anything. It was like power cycling. That can happen. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. So it was very apparent to her like this is a problem. Like there is something wrong with the computer. It's not just like a monitor issue. Well, it should have been very apparent to Dell too because they have a blinking <laughs> light on the front that tells them what the problem is. 
Press and hold the power button for about 20 seconds. So she's booted it into diagnostic mode now. It is making a beeping noise. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. hear that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she, the chick on the phone is listening for the beeps. Uh, she's, she's not even taking this. it from her. She's got this. I believe in her. I'm rooting for her. Okay, it sounds like there was three long beeps and then two short beeps. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, ma'am. So that is, that does usually indicate that there is a hardware issue. Okay. Uh, most likely it is the memory module. Good job. This trick is awesome. Give her a raise. You won't, but do it. We might have to uh, send a computer for repair, uh, but before that, you can try, uh, you know, reseating the RAM chip. So if that's something you can do, you can try doing that. She's so good. She just like nails it well, at every and stage. And I like how nice she's about it. She's like, we. I think we should send it back, but if if you if you think you can do it, yeah. you can try. She's not putting any pressure. Yeah. So that is the access panel, so you will have to remove that. Okay. How so, would I go about doing that? Right, so try uh, lifting it a little bit. So I think it's better if we can just send it in for repairs. <laughs> She's trying to default to the repair because she can't get the panel open, which is kind of fair. That's, yeah. I would probably do the same thing if someone can't open a side panel. I'd be like, <gasps> this one's a little weird though. You have to like push a button. I know. Yeah. I do remember that. But I think she she's looking. Come on, Sarah. Oh, wait. There is a button on the side. I just pressed it. Yeah, there you go. Woo! Off. Okay, but the computer's still on and plugged in. Should I turn okay, the computer okay. off and... Uh, yes, uh, you can turn it off. Uh, I will be able to locate the memory uh, chips for you. Look at that confidence. I will be able to locate the memory. So I have the access panel um, away from the computer now, and I can see the internal stuff. <laughs> if I was tech support right now, I'd be pretty uncomfortable instructing this person to like take out and put back in memory. but. Hey, if the customer wants to do it. So you can remove it completely, reinsert that one, and then we'll uh, try powering on the computer. All right, sounds good. It's too bad nobody instructed Sarah to take the whole panel off the thing. <laughs> Made a snapping noise. Does that mean it's clipped okay. in? Okay, this computer's been plugged in the whole time. She told us to power it off after we asked her, but didn't say to unplug it. That's pretty important. It's pretty important, especially on like older systems. Mm -hmm. It is still making beeping noises. Um, I'll turn it off again okay. and try one more time, maybe? She didn't install the RAM stick properly, and it's still beeping. Because she only it. did one side. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll try one more time, but uh, yeah, so if it doesn't work, I will be able to set up the repair. Sounds Who's awesome. that guy in the back? Hey, hey, look at this guy! Oh, I can't stand that guy. <laughs> did she just drop the memory? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Must have been my influence. My aura. Is that the one you threw? That ram stick's been through a lot. Now she should have told her, make yeah. sure you snap both sides. Oh, panels. she took the side panel off, woo! Hey, there we go. There you go. She got it? There it is, all right. That, noise? that was a crunchy ram snap, but I'm okay with it. Not that. sound good. Um, I'm gonna try turning it on again. <laughs> it's okay, Sarah, you can turn it on without the panel on. Oh boy, there we go. Guys, you gotta remember, Sarah is not only trying to do something that she's not that comfortable or familiar with. She's trying to appear on screen yeah, and, on and have phone. a phone call. While also bamboozling the person on the phone. This is harder than it looks. Yeah. Okay, it looks like it's turning on. It says it's preparing automatic repair. Woo! All right. So that took 14 minutes, 14, 15 minutes. Totally acceptable and way better than sending it back to the depot. HP really came through here, meaningful troubleshooting steps, reasonable hold times, good responsive interaction with the agent. Using their text, like their built-in BIOS functionality. I'm giving this an A. Yeah, that's very yeah. good. You know what, A minus, because she should have provided more clarity on how to plug yeah. the memory stick in, and you're right, she should have had her pull the power plug. I think a B plus. Fine. B plus. Fine. I'm going A minus. All right, fine. A I liked your attitude. Turns out this computer didn't actually boot. 
we wanted to make sure that they were actually working before we called tech support, and sure enough, it didn't post, so I reseeded the RAM, and then it was fine. That shows you how common it is. It's legitimately an issue. So, first of all, uh, what port uh, are you plugging in? Like, uh, HDMI, DisplayPort, DVA, It's DisplayPort. Okay. Good starting step. Solid. That's an A response. In this case, you either have a dead GPU, or the GPU is uh, uh, not fully seated in the slot all the way. Let's hope it's the latter. That's a lot of confidence. That is a, that is a big, ooh, that's a big assumption there, sir. They're not using like a metal bracket to keep the GPU in place, like the this tier one ones. This came with the foam. They do, but they can still come loose. That foam is not gonna guarantee it doesn't yeah. come out at all. Yeah. That foam is to make sure that if it comes out, it doesn't go flying around in the case. Right. So he's not right, but I can understand why he did that. It may be the motherboard, it could be the RAM as well. You can try and see if you reseat the RAM. We're only six minutes in and he's telling us to reseat the RAM, but he's already 24 minutes behind the eight ball because we're on hold for so long. Same is with there... all the other internal connections, like the 24 pin power. What does that mean? I don't know anything about computers. <laughs> check, make sure my connections Keep your are... your internal connections. Check my, check my connections here. What should be the first thing that What I a great check. question, Sarah. Um, I would check the power connections. Okay, and where and those are, are the bigger the... cables? Like okay. the 24 pin is the biggest cable you see right there. Okay. Yeah, He's but there's also like the AIO. Now. That's a pretty big looking cable. Yeah, it looks like those are in properly, which is good. Okay. Yep. Um, what's and next? then the GPU as well. He just doesn't really seem like he wants to be on the phone with me. It could be this. It could be that. What about the uh, slot on the GPU? Is it fully seated in there? Okay, that's a good question. Yep, it looks good. Feels uh, tight. <laughs> I mean, you could also check the cable too. If you have a different standard, if you have like HDMI, it could be the ports dead on the, on whatever display port. You should have multiple display ports as well. That is a good troubleshooting yeah. step. Display port can be a really total thick. Yeah. Um, anything else on the inside that I should try? Sarah's helping him out a lot here. As long as the board and GPU and everything is getting power, it should give you some sort of visual on the screen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, there's no visual. Um, I haven't tried the RAM yet. Sarah, you're helping him too much. So you need to hit the little clip, pull it out, and then align the notch again, and okay. click it back in, because it'll make like a click when you put it back in. Okay. Okay. Good instructions. The second one. Ooh. <laughs> Sarah! <laughs> oh, that was gross. That one also made a click. Um, okay, is there that's anything good. else I should do? Um, as far as the GPU receipt, that would be the last part. Go one step at a time. Yes. You did your RAM, turn it on. Let's figure out what yeah. the variable was the problem. Unless you're in like an all fired hurry. Yeah, let's figure out what variable was the problem. Like, it's kind of important. Should I just try turning it on and see if yeah, what yeah. I've done see, has made a See difference? if you did the RAM and maybe that. Sarah, you're helping him too much. Too much. In the end, this could be an issue with your board and not your GPU. Maybe your GPU is fine. Well, just rather than everything. go through these steps multiple times, why don't we just like check everything yeah. and turn it on once? That's not how I would do it, but he's not necessarily wrong either. I'm docking a full letter grade for how much Sarah helped him here, though. Yeah. Be careful not to pull too soon, or it might like latch itself. Oh, okay. oh, that's a good tip, though. Don't pull it before you push it. But yep. he didn't really explain that that well. Easier oh, if the, lock, just, the, lock, like, the lock is still in. The lock is still in place. Oh no, no, don't pull on it. She did not follow instructions here, but he should have known to give better instructions. So, like, oh my goodness, do a video call. Like what? That would be so much easier. I think we even made that suggestion last time. Who would have thought computers could be so friggin' difficult? <laughs> oh yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> Just sitting inside Linus Media Group headquarters. Yeah, computers are really difficult. <laughs> Mangling a graphics card. I had to watch it in I person. I really don't want to break it. Uh... Well, in all, in a, it, all in all, it could be broken already, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna try one more time, and then uh, I guess we'll turn it on and see if it made a difference. <laughs> to be fair, one more time, you haven't even taken it out yet. 
Otherwise, I'll, I'll make you an RMA, and then you can have the system sent back to us. I, I know it sucks. Oh, but... oh, 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 yeah. oh. I managed to pull it out all the way. Oh. Oh. I think she just brain farced it. Oh. I'm sorry, Sarah. That was rough. It kind of made a click. Oh, okay, it's gentle. No, no. Ah. Ah. Oh. This has been an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Jeez. So we're at 25 minutes on the phone and 25 minutes on hold. We're getting dangerously close to the Dumb. one hour mark. Doesn't sound good so far. So I'm like, what the heck? And I go reseat the RAM again and then it works. I wouldn't call it a fail. No, it's I call it more like a Pass C. asterisk. Is this better or worse than Dell? Better. You think it's better? Definitely better. They at least diagnosed the problem. But we could have messed it up more. In summary, between 25 minutes on hold and almost half an hour on the phone, that is dangerously close to the one hour mark. That took too long and they didn't ultimately solve our problem. Now, Sarah shares some of the blame for not like looking at that there's like latches I don't think so, that's up stuff. to him to do that properly. He should have walked us through properly. That's true, but he did at least get the diagnosis yeah, right-ish. One of his guesses was sort of right. It was yeah. better than Dell. Yeah, he just like shotgun approached it, which I don't think is the way you should go. Like, Dell was like sniper rifle right on the keyboard and, and then, the monitor. And know? then we're like, ah, oh, we can't we can't pull the trigger. <laughs> you know what we haven't mentioned in a while? B brand skins. You only got 24 hours. Go! What are you waiting for? Thank you for calling CyberPower PC. This is not gonna happen today. That is the most bored sounding dude so far. How can I help you? Okay, is it at the top where it's surrounded by USBs or under the audio board? Oh, what a great description. Nice. Okay, I like this guy after all. You're gonna plug into the motherboard, essentially. And if you do get display... Because this has integrated graphics, yeah. you can use this to make sure the GPU is the problem. Yeah. And if it's not, then we can move on to something else. And now that we've seen both iBuyPower and CyberPower, who packed their systems very similarly, identify a GPU being slightly loose as a normal issue, yeah. it makes sense that they are both going through well, the Well, and what this also sense. tells us is if the GPU comes out and it's still not booting, that it's something else, yeah. not the GPU. Give you this uh, instructions uh, to, to, you know, just also look at, look over. Okay, so he's sending us instructions and then he's gonna talk us through it on the phone. Okay. Nice. Well. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> refresh the page. So Sarah bunged up and refreshed the page that Google Voice was on Oops, and it ended reasons. the call. So now we're talking to a different dude, unfortunately. Regardless of what the next guy is, if he's not as good, it doesn't matter. It's still a problem. Every single one of their tech support should be at the same standard. The previous guy that I talked to mentioned that it could be the graphics card. Yeah, he's on the right track there. So I, I'm just going to continue with that. Yes. Well, based on their troubleshooting yes. hierarchy or yes. whatever tree that they have. Would it be possible for you to stay on the phone with me while I do this, or? I, um, I wouldn't be able to stay on for that long. Um, as far as removing the video card, there isn't very much that can be done over the phone. Yeah, but what? I'm an inexperienced customer. I want you to help me through it, even though you sent me instructions. Like, instructions are an aid, not yeah. like, uh, okay, see you later. I guess this is how they answer the phone in 26 seconds. Yeah, they just like Get rid won't of stay on the phone with you. The previous guy did, but he didn't seem very like into it. But he was willing to do it. Yeah. I'm fine with it as long as they're willing to do it. This must be one of those like, they you're rewarded by how many yeah, calls you get per day. Sure. That's, ah, it's, that's unfortunate. You might even have just saved time by just helping us on the phone. Yeah. Why are they so fixated on just the graphics card though? So we called him back like we did the graphics card. Yeah, <laughs> because sure. that's not the problem here. On hold for eight minutes this time. Okay. That's still collectively less. Well, than clearly me. he must have talked somebody through taking the GPU out on the phone. The back of the computer, there's a sure. power supply switch typically. Just put it in the zero position. Oh, nice. I think this is the first one that's told us to turn the power supply switch off. Do you know what part your RAM sticks are? Hey, yeah. Oh, hey, ho. Oh. What we? What's going on here? Seems like cyber power hierarchy. GPU if there's no display, then RAM. Both of the um, RAM sticks. There's a locking tab on top, sometimes right. on bottom as well. Ho ho ho! So I guess all we needed from cyber power was to actually get a computer from them, and then we can see the good tech support. Yeah. 
So then you're going to want to grab one stick, just one. You're going to put it back into the okay. second slot going left to right. Ho, ho. Are you listening to these instructions? Yeah. Dang. He even told us what slot to put it in. Oh, it looks like it's working now. Ready. We're going to just grab the one that's out. Okay. We're going to pop it into the the uh, the far right slot, so the fourth one going left to right. Even he didn't mention. Make sure you get two distinct clicks on the RAM, though. Yeah. Nobody. All right, it looks like everything is booted up uh, normally now. That's good. Um, I do have one question, though. Uh, it looks like one fan here, the one at the bottom, um, is supposed to be an RGB fan, but there's no color. Now that we have the computer fixed, there was a couple other complications with this one. A, one of the fans was not lighting up RGB-wise, and B, the damage we saw in the unboxing video. So we're now asking them about that to see how they handled it. Uh, yeah, you want to open up that middle side and then send me a photo of what's behind. This is a good idea, having us send a picture. This is the closest we've gotten to a Zoom call. Yeah. You'll see a set of three pins there. And then this cable just plugs oh, yeah. into those three pins. Great, it looks like both fans are running now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yay. Woo! All the RGB. Nice. So I'm just looking at the photos right now. So you can see all the little dents. If stuff. I was him, I'd probably be like, that one's can you live dope. with this? Okay, that one's The front great. one, I, I don't care about the side panel ones, but the front panel being dented in kind of sucks. So for this one, I can I can make more requests to yeah. see you know, what we're You're able right. to offer with it. So. Level one tech support can't really make a call about like right. sending a hundred dollars worth of side panels. They got back to us in like two days, of the, uh, or I think it was about a day later, and said, "We can send you some new side panels. Does that work for you? What's the address? Can you confirm?" Um, and they're in the mail right now. Cyberpower gets a B plus from me. B plus. B plus. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He was so knowledgeable. He was more knowledgeable than the HP chip. Yeah, but the problem is that they wouldn't stay on the phone with us. Yeah. The first guy would, but I think he was going out on a limb, like he had answered enough phone calls that yeah. day that he was doing okay. Maybe it's this clearly not their policy to stay on the phone and walk you through it. Yeah. Um, the instructions were generic, not well, specific. Overall to though, in terms of the training of the reps, you could tell there was consistency mm -hmm. there. And you could tell that not just that, but they were, they actually like do this stuff. Yeah. You know, like, oh yeah, this little detail, make sure you don't miss it. Yeah, that. there's two notches. There might be one yeah. on the bottom, might not. They probably should be pulling up the specific system. I really think that could help. But otherwise, overall, yeah. pretty darn good. Just stay on the phone for a few minutes, dude. Yeah. One 54 minute seconds. That's, that's awesome. Anything under like three to five minutes, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Thank you for calling Origin PC. My name is How am I help you? Hi there, I recently purchased a PC from you guys and I have it all set up at my desk. All right, yeah, just wanna make sure you're, yeah, you're plugged into the graphics card, which should be below the speaker ports, the graphics card should have about three or four connections. Yep, nice. that's correct. Easiest thing you could try would be to remove the RAM and try just plugging in one stick into the second slot going left to right, there should be four of them. Oh. Did he just go straight for the RAM? One stick? Now, this computer is nowhere near the specs of the other one, but... Well, they're gonna have their own challenges. Yeah, yeah. Just tech support weren't one of them, that's yeah, all. Yeah, that's what you're paying the $500 premium for. Did you count that gift card? Okay, did you factor that in? No, I didn't. So just make sure when you're doing that, uh, that it's facing the same direction that um, it was facing before, because it can only go in one way. And when you're doing it, you want to try and simultaneously get the top and bottom of the stick to click as you're pushing it in. Oh, he got it! Yes! If you get like the top in there first and then the bottom, it's probably not going to seat properly. Oh, wow. Wow. What great instructions. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, you only would if we scripted you to say it like that. Hey, hashtag, hashtag lioness. <laughs> All right, it made it click. It looks like it's in place and it feels like it's in place. Um, All right, go ahead and power it on and see what happens. Right. Oh, it looks like it's working. All right, so could be just the RAM needed a reseat. That does happen. Um, but yeah, you want to go ahead and shut it down normally through Windows, unplug the power, and then put the uh, other stick in the slot all the way to the That's right. That's not through Windows. And let's see if it uh, <laughs> has a problem or not. Oh, shit. Okay. Ruthless. Cringeful. 
Oh my god, they have bacon scented face masks. Oh my god. I'm getting one of those. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> oh my god. <gosh. laughs> so random. I like this little bit of personality. Is he just like on his like email getting like a shipping notification? Tag me in Facebook. Apparently it's from Hormel Foods. Okay. Giving away bacon scented masks. That is insane. That's amazing! <laughs> This guy's on Facebook. He's on Facebook. <laughs> he still showed everyone else what's up, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't even, I don't oh. even care. Also, it looks like That's my so PC awesome. is uh, up and running perfectly fine now. So. All right. Great. Good. Um, you put in the other, the other chip, the other stick. Yep. Making sure we put the RAM back in. That's good. <laughs> don't want to leave us with just one. A little stick. bit of hand holding. Thank you so much for your help, and also thank you for telling me that bacon face mask Laura thing because I need that in my life. <laughs> Origin PC, what can I say? Wow. A plus. They so nailed it. Good. Under 10 minutes. And Bacon Face Mask. 24-7. A plus! Around the clock! Yeah. We should try calling them at 2 a.m. and just see. <laughs> yeah, see what the quality of the text is. Yeah, I'm not coming to work at 2 a.m. Eight minutes on Eight the minutes, box. that's not terrible. That's a not fantastic. A, yeah. A little bit extended. It's a B minus. Uh, the order number off hand by any chance? Yes. Thank you for Check that order number, figure out what PC it is. Are you aware if you're plugging into the video card or the motherboard? He's probing. He would have given us more guidance. Though. Are you savvy? Are you not? Yeah. That's a fair question. And he wasn't rude about it. No. All right. Um, have you tried unplugging the keyboard just to see if it, you know, if it happens to power on with like uh, just the monitor plugged in and the power cord? Okay. Broken keyboard? Yep. Totally a thing. If they are defective or faulty, they can cause issues with the system. Explaining the rationale behind what we're doing. Yeah, he always appreciate that. On this motherboard, it has something called an, an easy debug LED. He's looking at the specific model. Um, and there's mm -hmm. two of the lights lit up. The first one and the second one um, from the top. Um, so we can check the RAM. Um, oh, check the RAM. The, CPU, the GPU is a little more complicated to check. Okay, it seems like he still thinks it's GPU, but he's like, oh, you can just check the RAM because it's easier. Which that is a totally valid approach. Fair. Totally, totally, fair. totally valid. Uh, would you feel comfortable working inside of the system? What a great way to ask that. Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut it down, remove the power cord from the computer. And then uh, lastly, uh, hold down the power button for about 10 seconds to drain the residual power from the system. Didn't hear that from anyone else. That's a little overkill, but... It's also a bit of an outdated step for yeah. the most part. Yeah. So the memory would be on the right side of the CPU. The CPU is more in the center of the computer. That's where the uh, cooler is connected. You'll see like the fan cooler nice. um, yeah, that nice. would be sitting on top of the CPU. Now they got four RAM sticks and I popped them all out. <laughs> Quickly look at the video card connection and make sure it's, sure. Uh, you know, poten potentially not something that's loose. Nice. He's just checking the easy things. This is just, yeah. yes. And this call is taking longer, but he's just being more verbose, and I have yeah. no problem with that. I feel very taken care of right now. This motherboard in particular, there's only one slot uh, latch that lo uh, that loosens on the, the slot. Nice. He checked Whoa. that this one only has latches on the top. Wow. You can pull it back using like two fingers. You can pull the latch away from the memory stick. Wow, he is so thorough. Wow. He's yeah. just making sure everything is good yeah. the whole way. I've left the second one in the socket. Okay, sounds good. So let's go ahead and uh, plug it into power again, and then we're gonna try and boot it up to see if that makes any difference. She went on her own and pushed the RAM stick in. Did she? Yeah. He womp didn't tell womp. to do that. To be fair, it's very possible that it wouldn't have been that stick. And it's very unlikely that all, all four of them would have popped out. That is like a one in a yeah. million. This is like the difference between like an extra minute on the call where he's yeah. like, okay, that one's not working. Let's try reseeding it with a different one or put a different stick in that slot. It says devices changed, CPU or memory or CMOs have been cleared. It sounds like it's booting up now. Before it sounds like you weren't getting any image from the computer at all. So yeah. uh, it most likely was related to a memory stick being loose or it, it could be a, a bad memory stick, but it's more okay. likely that one of the sticks were loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut it down again. Okay. And remove the power cord as well. The power cord, yes. Make sure you gotta clarify that every time. You do. You yeah. do. I forget sometimes. I, I have years. definitely forgot. 
there's a, a notch on the motherboard socket and then a notch on the memory stick itself. Oh, she's like double checking because she messed up one of them, remember? Yeah. And those two notches, the one that's on the motherboard slot and the one that's on the memory stick, they must they must match align with each other when you're installing. This is like the first stuff. person that's like really talked her through a memory slot, yep. which is such an important part and so easy to not mess up. So once you have the uh, yeah the direction down, uh, when you install it, you just align it with the socket. I would recommend um, like laying the computer down for beginners. That's the. <gasps> higher than what I even would have thought to say. Yeah, lay the computer down, it's easier. Then you don't have to brace it and you can use two hands. You can push down on the bottom portion and then push down on the top portion and you sh you, you may hear a click. You don't always yeah. have to hear a click, but you'll notice that the top latch, it like bends itself forward. <laughs> oh man. This guy like likes his job. This guy should just make tech tips videos, man. Yeah, we should hire this dude. He's got everything sorted out. Yeah, you can go ahead and try turning it on. Um, but, but before you do, I would just double check everything, make sure everything looks fully connected. Um, you can go over them one more time as well, like, just, you know. So, if I by power did this, the computer probably would have turned on. Just yep. push them in a little bit more, just make sure. Yep. It costs you five seconds now and instead of 10 minutes later. See if it turns on again. I think it might. <laughs> really? I think with how deluxe those instructions were. If she messed this up, it's, it's on Sarah. It's Sarah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm getting the same um, thing as before when we had the single RAM stick in. It just says devices changed, CPU or memory, or CMOS have been cleared. And then mm -hmm. please enter setup to configure your system. Um, um, so, so yeah, we can press the key to enter setup, and then once you're in setup, so you, you can go ahead and connect the keyboard. No way. He even walks her through the box. He helps her reconfigure her bio settings. Sweet, everything is working perfectly fine now. Sounds good. Uh, so once you're in the BIOS, like when you press enter setup, you could just press the escape key and then it, it boots straight into Windows after that. Look, she said it's done, but he's still giving her instructions. Slow clap. Unbelievable, that's polite applause here. This is better instructions than you and me would give. I mean, we would both be like, you should just know this. <laughs> like, Main Gear, there's just no other grade. They get our first ever A++. A++. Two pluses. <laughs> editor's choice. Two plus, editor's choice. Wow. Now we just have to see if they hold up when it comes to performance. So don't miss part four, where we're going to be talking about what kind of systems we were diagnosing here. And uh, don't miss this freaking drop, you guys. Dbrand, Precision Skins. This is your only chance to get Sticker Bomb and the Linus selfie face. You gotta go now at the link below. <laughs> The, the water bottle? It's full of memes! What's Car Carpool Critics? Check out Carpool Critics. Yeah! Socks and sandals! LTTstore.com! What happened to my car? It's even got the oh whoa face on it from LTX.